viewers of YouTube, Supreme Bills family, how are you guys doing today? I'm here with a video for setting up your NVIDIA Shield from scratch in 2018, November to be exact. Uh, this is going to be a good video for everybody to watch if you've just gotten the Shield or if you're resetting it because you have problems and you don't remember what to do. Check this video out, stay with it, pause it as you go. We're going to start from the beginning and we're going to go from there, get it all the way to the end, make it a streaming monster. All right, that's what it's supposed to be. So let's do it. I want to prerequisite this just by saying that um, all I've done so far is reset my shield and I've entered my email address, connected to my network, uh, told it that I want to use, um, you know, American English as my language. And also I have agreed to the mumbo jumbo of legal stuff that NVIDIA has. And that's really it. At the end, it asks you about apps. If you want to install a few other apps, I chose four of them. Uh, Hulu, because I have an account. Uh, Twitch, Stream. Um, no, Twitch, Steam, and uh, I forgot what else. ESPN, maybe, something like that. I'll look at it when we get in. But that's it. That's all I've done. I actually have a Samsung SSD plugged into the Shield. So I want to show you guys. I didn't even format it yet. I want to show you guys what happens when you plug in an external drive to USB and how to get that to be formatted as internal storage because that's really what you want if you plan to leave the drive connected all the time. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go over to the Shield. It's probably sleeping right now. Um, there we go. I'm gonna kick it back awake. And you'll see because my Samsung SSD is plugged in, I have this number one up top over here. That means there's one notification. If I click on it, it tells me unsupported Samsung USB drive. This device doesn't support the Samsung USB drive select to set up in a supported format. If you guys don't have any external storage plugged in, you don't need to worry about this step, but a lot of people do and they ask questions about it. So I wanted to show you guys. I'm just gonna click it, set it up as device storage. If you set up as removable storage, that's okay too. Then you can disconnect it, uh, you know, put movies on it or whatever you want, plug it in and watch the movies. But setting it up as device storage basically takes your regular shield and turns it into more of a pro size shield depending on how big your uh, solid state drive is or your external hard drive. If you're gonna use an external hard drive, definitely get a USB 3.0 one. If USB 2.0, it's gonna be too slow. Uh, but I definitely recommend Samsung SSDs. I have a T3 here, but they discontinued that. Uh, now they sell the T5s. They're not cheap, guys, but if you catch the seal shield on sale, like right now around Black Friday, there's a couple of deals for around 139, I think. Uh, you can get a 256 gig uh, solid state drive, a Samsung from probably around $100, and now you're looking at about $230. It's still cheaper than buying a um, Shield Pro, and the Shield Pro comes with a hybrid hard drive. It's a little slower, and in my experience, it's prone to failure. I went through two of them, and they both ended up having hard drive issues. So I prefer definitely the regular Shield along with some sort of solid-state drive. If you're going to go with a flash drive of any kind, go to NVIDIA's website or just Google um, NVIDIA Shield recommended um, NVIDIA Shield recommended flash drives. There's The top results should be something from NVIDIA and it'll actually tell you the model numbers of the flash drives they recommend. Let's continue. I'm going to set this up as device storage. It's going to ask me format as device storage. I'm going to say format. It's going to only take maybe 30 seconds tops. This is a 256 gig drive right here. USB drive reconnected. And now it's going to ask me to move some data to complete the setup. I'm going to tell it to move it because I want it to be complete so that I can use this drive. And that's it. Migrated data to Samsung USB drive. Now I'm on the home screen for the first time. The very first thing you guys want to do is go up to settings, click on it. Go down to about, click on it. Go all the way down to the build and keep clicking on it until it says you are a developer. Four, three, two, one, you are now a developer, okay? So all you need to do, press back once, go down to developer options, click on it, all right? And you're gonna go ahead and go down until you get to, pass all that, right in here. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. We're going to change all of these to 0.5. 
And the reason we're going to do that is because it's going to make the shield menus and motion much faster. All right. So now moving back and forth between menus is quicker. Scrolling through menus is faster. The shield is just a faster device right now uh, by doing that. That's about as fast as you can make it. You can turn them off, but then it looks kind of ugly. You don't get any transitions at all. It doesn't look bad. You can try it, but I prefer the 0.5. It's plenty fast. Once you do that, you're going to want some apps. The apps you're going to want to install first, you're going to click on apps on the left here. All right. Play Store is up here. Get more apps. Click on it. Once you go up to the search bar on the top, the search circle there, click on the middle of your remote. It's going to ask you to allow it to record audio. That's so that you can search with voice using the remote. So I'm going to say allow. Cody. It put it in. If it doesn't hear your voice, guys, you can just press to the right and type it in. All right, so we're going to go Cody, install, accept. Let it download, installing. That's it. All right, now we're going to press back again. I'm going to go back to the search bar or the search circle there. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to speak again. ES File Explorer. Again, guys, if your voice isn't working, just go over to the right and type it in. Install. Accept. Back one more time, back up to search, okay? And we'll see if my voice will pick this one up. Sometimes it gives problems. Sideload launcher. That worked. I'm gonna get sideload launcher right there and install it. Continue. All right, we're done. That's all I'm gonna get from the Play Store for right now. But if you wanna look at things, okay, if you go home, if you have other accounts and things like that, like, I already have Netflix on here. Hulu, I already have. I don't know why it's asking me. That's weird. Hulu is already there, but whatever. It's not for Android TV, I guess. I can install that if I have it. Um, I have a Stars account. I can install that. So you can go through and you can look at things to install. Okay? I, ha I have Epics. I can install that. So anything that you want to install, you can. HBO Go. I already, I don't know why. I should have installed those when I started it up. VLC definitely is an install, guys. Okay? Scroll through. I have Plexes already installed, so we're good there. So those are your movies at home. You can look at top paid, top free. What are free games here? I mean, top free things here. Uh, Twitch, I, I could have swore I installed Twitch, but I guess not. I have ESPN, so I can install that. So you can go through and just look at these things and see I just installed Stars. Um... I don't really care for any of the rest of these things. The only thing that I don't see here that I would want personally, here's TV time. So we can go through that and look and see if you have any of these things that you'd like to install or if you have accounts for any of these things, you go ahead. Like if you have Sling TV, you can install that. Um, I don't need any of this right here. I'm good. If you have kids, you can put YouTube Kids on there. If you have a Nickelodeon account or a Disney account, you can get those. And there's games, featured games, streaming, Right. I use Google Play Music, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Sports Central. Let's see. Fox Sports Go I would definitely use for my UFC stuff because I have an account. UFC.com I have an account for that, so I would install that. But if you guys don't have any of these, you can skip right through this stuff. I'm just putting what I have accounts for real quick. And that's it. All right. So I'm going to back out of the Play Store now. It'll install all those games for me. We'll be set to go. Okay. Back on your home screen, right? There's two things you're going to want to add to your home screen for sure. Add app to favorites over on the right. You click on it. I'm going to go ahead and add ES File Explorer. And I'm going to add Cody. 
And for the purpose of setting these things up, I'm gonna move Cody. You hold your button down until it opens this menu. Click move, I'm gonna put it in the front, okay? And I'm gonna take ES File Explorer, hold my button down, move it over, move it right after Cody. Because that's what I'm gonna be using to get the rest of my apps and to get things set up. Now listen, when you're done, you can move these things out of the way if you want, it's not a problem. But first things first, I'm gonna open up Cody, okay? It's gonna start Cody for the first time. And I'm going to go up to the settings cog in the center here, click on it, go over to system settings, go down to the bottom, change it from standard to expert. Go up to add-ons, move over, click show notifications, click unknown sources, say yes. Give it a second, let it catch up. All right, now from here, I'm gonna press back, Go down to File Manager, click on it, go to Add Source, click on None, and you're going to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash repo dot supreme builds dot com. Okay, and then we're gonna go over and we're gonna say okay. Then on the bottom, we're gonna name it. I always name my sources exactly what they are. I don't put stars, I don't do anything like that. So I'm gonna write Supreme Builds. And I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna go down to okay and click on it. I'm gonna press back, press back again. Now we're back at the home screen. I'm gonna go down to add-ons going to click it. I'm going to go up to the package up here and I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to go to install from zip file, find Supreme Builds, which I just added. It's right there. Click on it. And we're going to install the repository.supremebuilds, whatever version it may be at the time. Probably 1.0 because I don't really update the repo. There you go. Supreme Builds repository, add on install. Install from repository. I'm going to choose the Supreme Builds repository. I'm gonna choose program add-ons, and I'm gonna choose the Supreme Builds wizard. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna say install. In a second, it's gonna make a little pop-up because the wizard starts automatically. Once you get here, you can go over to dismiss and click it. Now, in this section, if you're gonna to plan to install a build from Supreme Builds directly into Kodi, I would tell you to enable, keep my tracked, keep my real debrid, um, keep my login data, keep my advanced settings. You can tell to keep your favorites. Keep your, uh, your whitelist and that's it. You gotta leave off sources, profiles, super favorites and repositories. If you're not installing a build, you don't have to add any of these. You can just go ahead and Leave the bottom three on for clearing cache, clearing packages, and clearing old thumbnails, and that's it. I'm not going to install a build on Cody because I'm going to keep Cody free to just go ahead and grab things real quick. But that is what you would do. I'm going to say continue. Now it's going to ask you about the build menu. I said I'm not installing a build, so I'm going to ignore that. Now we're done. Supreme Builds Wizard is installed. I'm going to go ahead and click back. Click back again. Click back again. Click back again. We're going to go down till you see program add-ons. I'm going to go over to the Supreme Builds wizard, click on it. When it opens up, what we want here is APK installer. I'm going to click on that. Now, I want Forks to run my <clears throat> to run my builds. The reason I want Forks is because Cody 18 is about to come out and all these builds are for Cody 17. Cody 18 will update in the Play Store, so the regular Cody version is going to end up updating to Cody 18. And if you have a build on it, it could get messed up. If you get one of these forks, it's gonna stay 17.6 forever. So I'm gonna take the Supreme Builds Media Center, which is a blank version of Kodi, okay? I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna download it. And watch what happens here. It's gonna tell me that I don't have permission to install. See, for security, 
you got to go to settings and choose Kodi. Now it's allowed to install whatever it wants and you're going to click back on your remote and you're going to have to do it again. It's only going to be the first time that it's going to do that. And that'll do that for every app that you ever try to install an app from. It's just a security measure. I'm going to say install. Now it's going to let you. Let me move myself up a little so you can see the bottom here. Okay. So I'm going to go over to install at the bottom and click it. And it's installing. I'm going to say done. Now, whatever other build you run, Supreme Builds Media Center is blank, just like Kodi is. So you can put any build you want in there. If you're running a Supreme Build, right, any of these builds. Now, check this out, just so you know right now, Quest is retired, Morpheus is retired, Supreme Kids is retired, Hellions is retired. Um, the cell is no longer X2, it's up to X4. But if you're running the cell, I would use that fork for it, just so you know. Storm is retired, Utopia is retired, Juggernaut is not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install a titanium fork because I want titanium on my device. I'm going to say install and go down to the bottom again, install. And guys, if you don't plan to run any, uh, only want to run one build and want to use Kodi, you, once I start installing a build, you can see how to do that. I'm also going to take the Juggernaut uh, fork. And I'm going to download it. Because Juggernaut's a great build too. And we'll install that. Now, if you guys want to install other builds, right? Right now, I've got Kodi, uh, SBMC, the Juggernaut and Titanium. I have four separate instances, the original Kodi and three forks that I can use. And I plan to not use Kodi for anything. I'm gonna use SBMC to install Supremium because there's no Supremium fork yet. I'm gonna put Titanium on Titanium and I'm gonna put Juggernaut on Juggernaut so that I have all those builds, okay? Um, I'm gonna wait for Cell's, Cell's working on a Kodi 18 build. So I'm gonna skip Cell X4 and wait for his Kodi 18 build because he'll have the first one that's out on the team most likely. So when Kodi 18 comes out and this box updates Kodi automatically to 18, that's when I'd come back and try to check for the cells build and see what he puts out for 18. So I'm done here with forks. I'm going to press back. I'm going to go to media slash video players. All right. I already installed VLC from the Play Store. I'm going to install MX Player Pro just so I have it because it is an option in some apps as a player. I'm going to say install. That's done. I have VLC already. Yes Player with no ads. It was for Terrarium TV, but some devices still use Yes Player. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to install that also. Um, some apps will still use Yes Player as an option. If they do, I'd like to have it so I could try it. I'll probably almost never use it because I use VLC for most things that I don't like the internal player for, but I can use it if I want to. No harm in having it. You got enough space on the shield. Gonna say done. Now streaming apps. All right. We'll take Mobdro because that's free live uh, IPTV. The quality is not great, but it's a good app to have. We're gonna say install it. Gonna say done. All right, uh, Cinema HD. Now this is an older version, okay? I'm gonna download it though, and I'm gonna install it, just so that it's there. So I wanna show you guys something. Install. That's done. Uh, so here's TTV, right? It says best used with T player. 
We had the T player in the last section we were in. I skipped it because I don't want to use TTV pretty much. I'm okay without it. I don't care for popcorn time. Don't really need it. So if you look at that, it says use VPN if choosing to play torrent file. A lot of files in popcorn time uh, are torrents, so don't use it unless you have a VPN loaded up because most of the files that stream are torrents. Now you have Morpheus TV, no more dev updates, one box HD, Amazon Prime Video is already on the shield, Showbox modded, I'm okay without that. Now TV Zion is here. That's a, another one that you can use. I would install that. Why not? Let's download it and install. More options never hurt anybody. I'm gonna say install. Cinema is the one that I use, Cinema HD. I love that one. But having backups to your backups is always good, just in case you need them. So that's done. I'm out of here. Now we're into IPTV services apps. What am I using these days? Easy TV. I'm gonna install the Easy TV app. Download it. If you guys don't have uh, IPTV accounts of any kind, like paid IPTV accounts, you can skip this section. Um, but I'm showing you guys what I do. Install. Done. I'll put in the Easy TV Perfect Player also. It's a good backup because the Easy TV app uses the Smarters app, Smarters uh, the Smarters based app. And if the Smarters server ever happens to have an issue, you may have an issue connecting where the Perfect Player is a good backup. I don't use the Perfect Player unless the Smarters app is down, but I install it anyway. I also have a Vader's account, so I'm going to install the Vader Streams app right here. Download. I'm not going to take the Vader's Perfect Player, but we do have a Supreme Vader's Perfect Player option there as well. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to say done. And that's pretty much it for me that's on here at this point in time. App stores. Okay, guys. If you like file linked, I would definitely install Aptoid because Aptoid gives you apps that are you can't find in the Play Store. So I'll install that. I'm going to say install. So it's just another Play Store basically. I'm going to say done and I'm going to install file linked. Install. You guys can search on YouTube for file linked codes, get all kinds of APKs and enter little uh, codes in to get people's APK lists. I'll eventually have one too. I know Juggernaut has one already. You can check his channel, uh, which is on the featured channels list right at the top on the side of this channel. I'm gonna go back. Um, torrent streaming engines, I'm gonna skip. Android remotes, I'm gonna skip because the Shield has its own awesome remote. VPN clients, I'm gonna skip because I'm not using one. Web browsers, I'm going to include because I want Chrome on my box. And it's not in the Play Store, so I'm going to get it from here. It will still update once it's installed, though, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to say install. Install. And done. And then lean back. Launcher app shortcuts, all right? This is important. I've installed Google Chrome. It won't show up on the home screen, but if I add Google Chrome ATV, it'll show up. Install. I could make a shortcut for it, but this one is already there. Anything that's already there, you might as well just install it. Done. All right, Mobjo has a shortcut to the home screen. We're gonna download it because I have Mobjo. We're gonna say install. done all right i don't have any of the rest of these sideload launcher i already got from the app store but tv app repo is very important guys get that because it's no longer in the play store this will allow you to take any app that doesn't have a lean back launcher shortcut so it won't show up on your nvidia shield home screen and you can create a shortcut that will show up on the home screen we're going to say done and that's it 
Okay, I'm done here. I don't need these quick server apps. I am fine. I'm done with that. I'm going to leave Cody now. So I'm going to go up to the top and press power after pressing back to get to the home screen. Power and exit. Now, I want to add the things to my home screen that I just installed, whatever it is that I plan to use. Okay, I want my Chrome on the home screen. I definitely want Easy TV on the home screen. I'll leave the Perfect Player off of it because I would only use that as a backup. There's the Easy TV Perfect Player. File linked, can put on the home screen. Okay, anything that you use a lot. I would use HBO Go. I'm gonna put that on the home screen. Just put anything that you want on the home screen that's not there already. I thought Hulu was already in the home screen, wasn't it? No, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna put Hulu. Um, I'm gonna put the Juggernaut. Did I skip anything? Uh, I'm just gonna put Juggernaut. I'm gonna put SBMC. I feel like I'm going too fast. Mobdro. Now Mobdro showed up twice, which means that I don't no longer need the shortcut. At one point in time, you did, but I don't need it anymore. I believe this is actually the correct Mobdro. The other one's a shortcut, but they'll both work. Um, you don't need MX Player Pro on your home screen. I use Plex all the time. I'm going to put that on my home screen. Uh, but, 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 what else here? If you want to get right into the Play Store, instead of having to go to the apps, I kind of like that. You could put that on the home screen, but I don't really care right now. Side load launcher, I'm going to put on the home screen because that's an important one. Titanium, for sure, goes on the home screen. And... TV app repo, I'll put on the home screen. You can put TV Zion if you want. Um, Vader streams. Why do I not see? Oh, you don't see Cinema APK because it doesn't show up. It doesn't have the right kind of icon. So let me show you how to get the Cinema APK icon. You're going to go to TV app repo. You're going to open it. You're going to allow it to do whatever it needs to do here. And you're going to look at downloaded APKs. Lean back launcher shortcuts below here. There's Cinema HD, right? You're going to click on it. And you're going to say create shortcut. Download complete. It's going to automatically ask you if you want to install it. Oh, for security, it's not allowed. Remember that? So settings, turn on TV app repo. And you can go down and turn on anything else that's in here as well. It's not a big deal. Whatever's shown up you can turn on. I'm going to go back and I'm going to have to do it again. Cinema HD, create shortcut. And install. I'm going to say done. Now, when I back out of here and I go back to add things at the end, you're going to find Cinema HD and I'm going to add it. Now I've got everything that I want up here. It's a pretty long list, unfortunately, but I would get rid of some other things possibly that are up here. It doesn't really matter. The first thing I'm going to do is take Easy TV and move it to the beginning. Right there like that. Then I'm going to take SBMC because that's going to contain my Supremium, which is the next thing that I'm going to use the most, and put it right here. And I'm going to take Cinema HD and move that right after that. I like to put the things I use most in the front. Okay, then might as well take Titanium, move that right after that, and then Juggernaut, because that's going to be mostly what we set up right now. We're going to move that. Okay, there we go. So that's how I do it. Now, <clears throat> I have Titanium, SBMC. All right, you know what? Let me move SBMC just to keep them. There we go. So now it's Easy TV, Cinema HD, and all four of my Cody's. My three forks and the original Cody are right here. Next thing we're going to do is go to ES File Explorer, and we're going to open it. And this is what you guys really need to do and get used to doing. It's very easy. Once you get used to it, the navigation is a little odd in here, but what you want to do is go to favorites and learn how to use this. You click down 
and you click add. All right. Now the, you want to add a path to something that you want to be able to download. I'm going to start off with cinema. All right. The APK, because that's my favorite APK for movies and TV shows right now. So I'm going to click on path. Sorry. More path is already open and you're going to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash cinema apk.com okay and then we're going to say next over here sorry i'm blocking it it all depends on what we're looking at and where we're at at the moment i might have to move myself a few times we're going to go to next and i'm already on next here that's going to take you down to the name and we're going to call it cinema apk now important guys when you click next here it's going to bring you to cancel on the bottom you see how cancel highlighted if you click done it's going to cancel everything you did you need to press back on your remote move over to add and then click boom created successfully now let me show you what that does when you go down to your whatever web page you chose and you click it it takes you to the website and you can use your remote and scroll down through. You see how change logs, it has the rectangle around it. That means I'm on it. If I go down far enough, you have the download option. So this is to be able to download updates if they fail on the auto update inside of Kodi. And I'm gonna try auto updating, I mean, inside of the app itself. So right over here, you may pa I passed it already, sorry. Right there, download now is highlighted or the latest version APK file now has the orange rectangle around it. If I click that, it'll download it or download now will do it. If I click it, watch what happens. I can go to open folder or open file. So I'm going to open the folder. There's my download. All right. So there we go. I'm going to back out of that. I don't need to do that right now. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to update it first by itself when I open it. So let's go to cinema HD and open it now. Okay, I just want to show you that. And you guys can do that with ES File Explorer. Keep adding favorites for anything you want. I add my favorite for the Easy TV link, which I'll go back and do in a minute. You know what? Let me do it first just to finish it, just so you guys could see. All right, I'm going to add one more favorite. Um, if you use like Gears or whatever, you can go to targetcreates.com slash APK. I like to go to whatever website is used for that. So I'm going to go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, easy TV apps dot live and I'm gonna go to next and then I'm gonna name that easy TV and I'm gonna go to next I remember important you're on cancel so press back move over to add click the center button you've added it and just for showing you guys you click it and boom there you can scroll down and highlight the APKs. Those are the same ones that are in the wizard right now, but if there's ever an update or something like that, you can always check the official site to try to get them, you know, like source sites. So those are my two that I add. If there's others you like, add them as well. That's how I like to use this app. It's very easy and a simple way to go ahead and get APKs. Now, I'm done with that. I'm gonna try Cinema HD first. I'm gonna click it. It's gonna tell me there's an update. We'll see if it updates automatically. I'm going to say allow. I'm going to say okay. Oh, it looks like it was updated in the wizard already. Never mind. If it wasn't updated in the wizard, it would have tried to auto update. Thank you, Juggernaut. You updated it clearly to the most recent one already. So we're in Cinema APK, guys. All right. If you don't have a real Debrit account, you don't have to do too much to this. The only options, I, I just did a whole Cinema APK settings guide i'm not going to go through everything but i will show you the important things right here if you go down to settings you click on it you can change the poster size i prefer medium over large because i can see more movies in a single line remember when i had you install a vlc and mx player you can choose the default player and there you go yes player mx or vlc i generally leave cinema it works pretty good if not i would try vlc and then after that i try mx and yes player um, if you have a real Debrit account, you're going to go ahead and log into it. So you click on that. I will use my phone to go to the website it tells me to go to. 
This is only if you have a real Debrit account. If you don't, you have to do this, but I highly suggest getting one. There's a link in the description below this video to get a real Debrit account. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to real-debrit.com slash device. And I'm going to put in this code. Continue. Application is allowed. This should close down in a second. There we go. So real Debrid's authorized. I have a tracked account as well. I'm going to log into tracked. So I will go to that site right there. Enter the code. Yes, allow it to use my account. Should let me in. Done deal. That's really all you have to do, guys, if you just to get it rolling. Uh, check out my settings video. I'll link it above here and you guys can see it. I'll also link it at the end of this video. You can go to the end and I'll put it in the end cards. All right, so that's it. Back out of the settings. And now if I change the screen, you see I can only see five movies across. If I change the screen, now I see a lot more. I got eight. So five to eight. I like this view better. Works for me. If you like five, it's great. Leave it at five. That's it. You're all set up. This app is ready to roll. I'm going to say exit app. Yes. Now I'm going to go to SBMC and I'm going to install Supremium on it. This doesn't have the wizard. It's a blank Cody. So I'm going to have to actually go through and set it up even to put the wizard in it, just like I did in Cody. So we're going to go up to settings, go down. Um, hold on settings go over to system settings and then change from standard down here to expert go up to add-ons show notifications turn on unknown sources which now i am blocking sorry guys boom yes press back go to file manager add source click on none https colon forward slash forward slash repo dot supreme builds dot com okay and we're gonna say okay we're gonna name it supreme builds oops I didn't get my space in there mm. Oops, hang on. I'm going to move back there, get my space. I like things to be right. Okay. All right. And we're going to say okay. I'm going to go back all the way to the home screen, down to add ons, click on it, go up to the package, click on it, go to install from zip file. We're going to choose Supreme Builds. We're going to go to repository, install it. installed we're going to install from repository supreme builds repository program add-ons supreme builds wizard install except this time <clears throat> when it pops up i'm going to actually go to the build menu so i'm going to say dismiss this and i'm going to turn on all those things i didn't turn on before because i actually plan to have a build on it skip those two advanced settings keep my favorites skip those two and keep my whitelist i'm done right there pause the video if you need to see those things to keep and those four not to keep, don't keep them. I'm going to say continue. It's going to pop up my whitelist. I don't need to save any of this yet because I don't have the build. So I'm going to click here to continue. Zero add-ons and whitelist. I'm going to go to the build menu. And I'm going to go down to Supremium. You can choose any of these servers, guys. It's just the server location. It doesn't matter. I'm going to choose USA Server 1. I'm going to tell it to do a fresh install. Continue. Going to wipe out the little bit of info I have. It's going to download and install Supremium.
and I'm going to tell it to force close. Done. Now I'm going to go over to Titanium, and I'm going to click on it. The wizard's already in the Titanium one, so it's going to pop right up. There it is. Dismiss. Again, going to keep all those things. Not those two. Going to keep those two. Not those two. Keep that one. Continue. Click to continue. Build menu. Now I'm going to take titanium. Doesn't matter which server you guys choose. Look, I'll take USA Server 2 for this one. And I'm going to do a fresh install. Continue. <clears throat> oh, titanium has grown in size a little bit. What are you doing over there, Juggernaut? It's going to take a little longer to get that one out. Almost halfway, getting close. Now we're there. The reason I'm taking all these forks, there's a reason I'll show it to you when I'm done. I want to show you guys two different ways to set up Gaia. All right. And I'm not going to go through the entire, uh, you know, enabling your whole uh, systems process of, you know, let me go ahead and, and, and enable all my, uh, I'm not going to go into every little setting, but I'm going to show you guys two different things. I'm going to force close this at the end. Done. And I'm going to go over to Juggernaut just because I want to have Juggernaut. I'm not going to actually do anything with Juggernaut, but I'm just showing you guys how to install some builds here. Okay. I'm going to go up. Remember, the wizard's already here, actually, so it's fine. We can dismiss that. I'm going to keep my track, my real debrid, my login data, skip those two. Advanced settings, favorites, skip those two. Keep my whitelist. Continue. And click to continue. And then I'm going to go to the build menu. And I'll take Juggernaut from the European server. So there's Juggernaut, Europe server. Boom. And fresh install the Juggernaut. <coughs> Continue. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. <coughs> So as you can see out of those three builds, Supremium is the smallest, Juggernaut's in the middle, Titanium's the largest, but none of them are all that big. And I'm going to force close that. All right. That's pretty much done, guys. You can sign into your Netflix. You can go through each of these things that you put up here. Sign into them if you have accounts. All right. Um, you know, if you have IPTVs, different ones than I do, you can put them in the front. I would sign into my Easy. Uh, I'm not going to go into all that. You guys can check out my uh, Smarters video and my Easy TV video for information on that. But I do want to show you uh, setting up I'm going to start with Titanium, and I'm going to show you guys a fast way to set up Gaia. Even though Titanium is not primarily using Gaia at this point, I'm going to open it and show you guys. If you don't have premium accounts and you want Gaia to work pretty well, I'll show you a pretty quick way to make it work. I'm going to move myself again so I'm not blocking anything too much here. Whenever you open a build for the first time, let it sit still. It's going to force its add-on updates and do all that fun stuff for you. Wait till it's done doing his thing. Yeah. 
You can use this same setup on Supremium if you want to try to use Gaia as without any kind of services. You can also add your services to it after you do this if you want. That's fine too. Okay, so all that's updated, right? I'm going to go over to the main menu, go down to video add-ons, and I am going to get to Gaia right here. I'm going to click on it. And apparently it has already been activated. So you're going to have to go to tools, go to uh, settings, choose advanced, say defaults. Okay. Say, okay. Then we're going to back out. We're going to go to um, main menu, add-ons, my add-ons, video add-ons. Going to go to Gaia. I'm going to click on it. We're going to tell it to update. And we're going to take it from the Gaia repository. One is fine. Now I'm just basically resetting it here. I'm going to show you one more step after that. Gaia add-ons updated. Now to make sure we can go to the Supreme Builds wizard. All right. All right there. Open it up go to maintenance add-on tools and we can remove add-on data and i'm going to go down and i'm going to find gaia it's going to ask me would you also like to remove the add-on data for plugin video gaia yes that wipes it out we're done all right now we're going to go back For good measure, I'm going to press power and exit just to make sure all that saves. I'm going to go right back in. And I'm going to go into my video add-ons. I'm going to go to Gaia. And now, Here you start off with your disclaimer. It's initializing new providers, doing all this stuff. I'm going to agree to the disclaimer. Welcome to the automatic configuration wizard. I'm going to say, okay. Now guys, if you don't have a premium account or you want to try this, even with a premium account, you can, but I find that it works best without a premium account. Click on Reaper setup. It's going to give you a warning. It allows you to easily apply customized settings of longtime Gaia user Reaper. He's also created a corresponding Gaia setup guide available here. I'm going to say, okay. The presets from Reaper might be restrictive for some users, resulting in fewer streams. We do not accept any bug reports from the ticket system for these settings. All questions must be directed to Reaper on Reddit. We're going to say OK. Do you want to import Reaper settings and accept possible problems with the presets? Yes. Gaia provides integration for various external services that improve the functionality to add-on. You can activate your accounts or continue to use only basic services. Continue. Now it's asking you, do you want to activate? You can activate accounts right here if you'd like to. I'm going to say continue. I'm going to say continue from here because uh, I'm doing this as if I don't have anything. All right. I'm going to take noobs and nerds providers and enable those. So I'm going to have these bottom four enabled. You can choose universal providers if you want. I don't find it necessary. Right now we're using placenta, incursion, noobs and nerds, and universal scrapers. I'm going to say continue. And you've enabled a lot of providers, 53 in total. That's really not all that many. We're going to keep it. You can automatically start playback after streams have been found. I'm going to say manual. You're all set up and ready to stream. Finish. Now let me show you guys what happens when you do this. In my experience, it gives you a pretty good amount of free links, and they work. All right, so we're going to go to 
um, or in movies. I'm going to go down to lists. I'm going to choose currently trending. This makes Gaia a pretty decent free uh, streaming app. Let's just go ahead and take something like that we would know. I don't know. Let's try Deadpool 2. This is now searching with no premium services at all. And it's getting you a decent amount of links, honestly. It's going to take about a minute total. There you go, 47 seconds, finalizing, processing the streams, saving them. There you go, preparing them. So a little over a minute. And it searched all the scrapers that these other add-ons uh, use. There's another thing you can do too. So here, any of these directs generally work pretty good. You ended up with two 1080s, a bunch of 720s. And I don't want to click anything because you guys know uh, YouTube doesn't like that and neither do any of those things, but that's the one that says Google videos right on top. It works. One other thing you can do. Okay. In the settings of Gaia, I'll show you. If you go back to the beginning, go down to tools. And this is, if you have, this is a whole setup. If you don't have any premium services, go to settings, go to advanced and go over to scraping. I'm sorry, not scraping. You got to go over to providers. Okay. Sorry. Go to providers. And we're going to go down to the bottom. Right there. Lambda scrapers. We can install that. Would you like this feature to install Lambda scrapers module? Yes. Installing the add-on. And now if we go into settings, again, we go to advanced, go over to providers, sorry. We can make sure that Lambda is on. So now you have Lambda, Universal Scrapers, Noobs and Nerds, Incursion Scrapers, Placenta Scrapers. So this is the scraper settings that like uh, Exodus Redux uses, Lambda. Universal scrapers is what most add-ons use nowadays. Noobs and Nerds scrapers still works pretty good, actually, uh, even though Noobs and Nerds is out of the game for a while. Everybody knows about Incursion scrapers. That was an add-on from Mr. Blamo, and Placenta scrapers was also from Blamo. So those are working. You don't need to use Video Scraper. Um, that can stay off. But you can have all these on. All right, we're going to say OK. And now I'm going to go back one more time. And whoops, go back into Gaia. We will go to, I don't know, let's try movies one more time. We'll go to lists. And I will go to currently trending again. And I'll try something else. Let's try.
Um, wow, okay. Let's try Creed, the first Creed. I even got a 4K there. Guys, I don't advise you to try free 4K links. They generally buffer a lot. Those servers can't handle that stream most of the time. You can try it if you want, but I try to avoid it. Unless it's a Google video stream, then maybe. <clears throat> That's a lot of streams. All right, we're 30 seconds in, it's almost done. It'll filter out streams. You can also remove things like the Pirate Bay is there that it's searching right now. You can go into settings and remove those if you have no premium accounts. It's preparing the streams now, shrinking them down. We're about a minute on that one, maybe a minute and 10 seconds by the time it's done. That's it. Now you got two 1080s again, three 720s, and those are NAND. These are, see, that's universal and NAND. So I told you, NAND still gets you stuff. That's what you're getting at. All right, then you get down to um, 720s, bunch of 720s, into SDs. You get a decent amount of free ones just like that, guys. That's the best way to use Gaia. Other add-ons inside of here, if you don't have a free account, you just use it. If you do have a free, if you do have paid accounts, you know that you need to go into the settings, okay? And aside, you can enter them inside Gaia if you're using Gaia, but for other add-ons, you're gonna go to system, and you go back to add-ons, manage dependencies, and you're gonna go down to URL resolver, click on it, go to configure, Move over to Universal Resolvers, and if you have a Premiumize account and a Real Debrit account, you're going to put your Premiumize right here. All right, so you would log in under Premiumize.me if you have Real Debrid. You're going to choose Reauthorize My Account and put it in there. Follow the instructions, and then when you're done, you got to make sure you click OK. And then you're going to do the same exact thing for Resolve URL. They look identical. You go down. Enable your premiumize me, enable your real debrid. All right, and then say okay. And that's it, guys. All right, that's your setup, and then you can start flowing through and checking out different add ons and different things like that inside Titanium. Now I'm going to press power and I'm going to exit Titanium because you're done. Now I'll open up Supremium for the first time. Let it do its thing. Now this has an Android apps menu. It'll show you all your Android apps up top so you can launch them. And then if you have other apps, okay, you can make your favorites down here. In my Supremium video, which I'll also link in the bottom, it'll show you how to edit these, things like that. But this is all using Gaia, basically, to pull everything, which is what I just showed you in the other one. So you can set it up the same way I showed you in Titanium if you don't have any free, uh, if you don't have any uh, premium providers. Or you can go into Gaia. All right, so you go to Main Menu, and then you go to Video Add-ons. Go down to Gaia. And it's going to start the wizard for you. You're going to agree. You're going to say OK in the configuration wizard. And in this one, I'm going to set it up like as if I was using a premium accounts. I'm going to say extensive setup. And it's going to tell you Gaia supports multiple languages. We're going to continue. I have all this in another video, so I'm going to kind of go through it a little fast. I will link the uh, huge setup video for Gaia, uh, Gaia settings in this, 
in the below this video and also um, at the end in the end cards as well. So English is set as the primary default language. You're going to keep it. If you have a secondary language, you can choose one uh, and then it'll do it. If not, you can say keep. Provides integration for various external services. I'm going to say continue. In this one, what you're going to do is you're going to get your accounts and you're going to input them, okay? So here's Orion. Orion users are able to do this. I'm going to say activate my account. It's going to ask me, do I want to use an existing account or a new one? I'm going to choose existing. Do you want to log in with your API key or your email? I'm going to choose the key and then I'm going to go to orionoid.com so that I can know what my key is. And I'll sign in there if I'm not already signed in. <clears throat> um, where is it? Login. I got my API key here. I'm gonna go back to the big screen so that I can do this API key uh, without any issue of having to change it again. So I'm gonna go back here to the big webcam and get this done. Okay, that should do it. I'm gonna go back to the, whoop, there we go. I guess I gotta change it again anyway. I didn't realize that I had to hit done beforehand. All right, so done. And successfully authenticated. So that worked. All right, we're gonna say continue. I'm gonna enable my tract in here. I'm gonna activate the account. Do I wanna create a new tract account or use an existing one? I am going to choose existing and I got to go back to track.tv slash activate. Yes, that should activate me any second now. Okay, continue. IMDB, I actually have an account there. I set one up, but I have not really tried to enable it yet. I have a Fanart API key as well, but I'm not going to put it in right now. If you have accounts here, you can put them in. Premiumize, I have an account for. Um, activate account. Do you want to create a new Premiumize account or use an existing one? Existing one. Enter the ID. And this is so weird. I don't know why it's showing up with passcodes and stuff like that. Let me see. Yeah, it's keeping them here. I don't know why it's doing that. So that's going to be really annoying. I'm going to try to click done instead of having to, because I want to show this to you guys. Um, but let's go to premiumize.me. Um, account. Okay, I'm going to come out of here. At least it's on done right now. So I'm going to try to just click it and get to the next thing. <clears throat> And I'm going to click done. Let's see if that works. Yes. Now it's to the pin. So I'm going to enter my pin and I'm going to show that. And let's go back over here. I'm going to leave that on done. And I'm going to click to be done. 
and let's go back to here. Premiumize account was successfully added and activated. Continue. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my real debrid. Activate account. Existing account. And I'm going to choose. Put this in here. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> Application allowed. Continue. Those are all good. All done. All right. I'm going to say continue. Now it supports various internal and external providers. Continue. Now Orion's there, local providers is enabled. You can turn off local providers if you want. Um, premium providers you want enabled. Universal you can leave disabled. You can even undo this. If you're using premium accounts, you don't necessarily need that, but you can turn these on if you want. All right, so we're gonna enable that. Or disable. These were the ones, the four that we had before. Universal, Noobs and Nerds, Incursion, and Placenta. That was because we didn't have any premium stuff in there. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off Noobs and Nerds. Disable that. And I'm going to disable Universal Scrapers even. All right. Now we have Orion. I can even turn off local providers if I wanted to. Uh, let's turn it off. So Orion and premium, that's it, okay? Done deal. This is if you have all those accounts. Don't do this if you don't have any of these accounts. You're gonna, if you don't have any of them, you're gonna need all these externals. I'm gonna say continue. Now, again, it's saying I have 53, that's fine. I'm going to keep that. Manual again. Yes, I wanna detect failures. And providers need some time to find streams. I'm going to say continue. I'm going to choose default. VPN, continue. Uh, streaming over Debrid services does not need a VPN. It's just telling you that. So I'm going to skip instead of activating a VPN. Internet speed test, determine the quality. Yes, I get that. I'm going to skip the speed test. And you're all set up and ready to go finish. Okay. Now, now that I'm done, I'm going to go to movies. And I'm going to go down to lists again I'll take currently trending and I'm gonna grab what did I try last time uh, Deadpool 2 right I'm gonna search this now And I didn't even tweak any of the finer settings. I just did the initial setup. Do you see how many links are coming in here now? Look at how many... 4k links I've got going for this film it'll filter out duplicates and things like that so it won't be as many but look 218 uh, 1080 links that's just from having those I'm not searching any of those links that were showing up before when I was in titanium just to give you guys an idea of what you actually get when you pay for these premium services and it took it's gonna take around the same amount of time to finish getting me to streams and I'm using zero free links here And you see these all say cached. So I can use any of these 4K cache links up top and play those. And they're cached on premiumized and real debrid. And then I can go down to 1080p and all these cached ones, I can play any of those. 
And there's a ton of them that are cached. I'm still going through 1080 cache links. All right, and this is after it cleared out duplicates and everything. Still cached links in 1080. Now we're finally into things that are not cached on their servers. You'd have to download those, but you would have no reason to because you have all those cache links. All right, and look at all these 1080s, 1080s, 1080s. Now we finally got into 720 and tons of cached. All right, so that's the difference when you guys have premium accounts, just so you realize anything cached, you can basically click it and it just plays instantly and you're good to go. So that's that guys, I showed you guys how that works. There's tons of small settings, like I said, I will link end cards in the video. So if you go to the end of this video, like the last maybe 30 seconds or so, you'll see the end cards for how to set up Gaia in depth, uh, you know, how to work with Supremium, things like that. Uh, I'll put those in the end cards, probably three different videos. I'll do the cinema one, Supremium, and how to set up Gaia. I think that about covers it, guys. We're pretty well set up. I do have to change my API key now because otherwise people are going to pause that and take my API key. So before you guys do that, just know that it's already changed. Don't waste your time. I'm actually changing it on my phone right now <laughs> since it showed up. So I'm going to sign in. I'm going to change my API key just so you guys know I did it. Don't bother trying to take my API key. All right. My API key is now changed and it won't work. So don't waste your time. <laughs> That's it guys. That is how you set it up to get it streaming, to get it going. The only other things I could maybe show you on here is like NVIDIA games. If you use GeForce Now, you can click on NVIDIA games. It'll take you in. You can say, I agree and continue. This is a paid service. I actually do pay for it. All right, if you go to the bottom and you go to settings, you can log in. I think I might have to put in actual info. Yeah, so it's on my phone or laptop and enter the code. I guess I can do that too. But if you play games, this is where you would go to do it. Um, there is an account that you can do. Um, it's like $8.99 a month and you get to play all kinds of PC games on there. Slash login. I think I did it with Google. And allow now. And it logs me in. It'll eventually log me in, it should. Oh, can't connect right now. That's interesting, let's retry, there we go. And I'm in. So if you have GeForce Now, you can use the NVIDIA gaming controller if you have it to see my GeForce Now is included in my account. You can game stream from your PC to the Shield this is where you would find all that interesting stuff, games to install, keyboard and mouse, puzzles, arcades, simulation, adventure, strategy, racing, sports, fighting games, first person shooters, role playing, multiplayer online, action games, uh, play with a remote, fun for kids, free to play, free with shield, most popular, um, new releases. And that's it, you have my games and then game stream. If I go here, um, that's the game from your your uh, from your PC, all right? And that's it. Over here, you can change different things. All those categories you can go through, all right? And anything that says GeForce Now, you need the, um, you can just press play. You just have to have a GeForce Now account, which I already have. If not, it'll prompt you to set it up when you get in here. You would go to the bottom for GeForce Now. If you go to settings right here, GeForce Now, 
you click on it. I can test my network, US Northeast. You can tell it to set stream quality. So let's test my network real fast just to show you. Optimal for streaming. I can show details. It tells me my just tells you that it's bigger than what it needs. All right, it's all greater than what it needs. I can select my stream quality and I can say I'm on Ethernet right now. Resolution is auto adjust for poor network conditions. I would leave that honestly because especially if you're on Wi-Fi because things could change. But you can change the resolution to make sure it locks to 1080p, 60 things like that. Uh, max bit rate. You can choose auto or you can change that. Oops, sorry. Um, if you have a really high internet connection, you could just go max. But leaving it on auto is fine. That's it. All right, guys. So, and the other thing I'll show you is when you want to put your shield to sleep, you go to settings and sleep now. It's the first one on the top. It goes to sleep. I have no more signal left. I woke it back up. The other one you have up here is to restart it. If you want to actually shut it down, okay, uh, I believe that's in system. No, it's not in system. Where is it? Um, I don't remember. It's a, oh, it's in about. And you can power it off. A lot of people can't find that. They don't know how to do it. But if you power it off, it's uh, a little, you know, it, every once in a while you might want to do that. But definitely restart it every now and again, which is up here, just to give it a refresh. So, guys, that is the setup video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you guys out. And we'll go from there. Simple as that, guys. You guys can do tons of other things. Use file links, log into your accounts. Those are the things that I do when I set it up. It lets me stream like a champ over and over and over again. So happy streaming. Hope you enjoyed the Shield setup video for November 2018. We'll talk soon. Supreme Builds, out of here. Peace, guys.